In light of Sulla and Foodie Beauty's recent Poopageddon scandal, I thought it would be interesting to take a look back to where it all began, to highlight all the red flags that ultimately came to fruition. I hope you enjoy. I have been seeing somebody. We've been talking a lot, like video, pretty much all night since we've met. So I've been really busy just like talking and he plays music for me at night. Like we have a little routine. He's like, maybe I could play music for your videos sometime. Would you guys like that? Anyway, we really hit it off. Um, he is Syrian. So um, I'm going to be keeping this relationship very private for now. He says he, doesn't, he didn't cheat. Sorry, babe. It was just, I have to tell you, I hate myself right now. I can't believe it. Please don't tell. I, it was only this once. <laughs> yeah, sure. Fuck you. Fuck you. See this finger? Shove it up your fucking hairy ass. We plan on um, eventually doing some traveling videos together. He's around my age, so it's really perfect. He has a really good job. Yeah. Together, they need each other. She needs someone to drive here, take her, go outside, do video for her. And for him, he needs the money coming, the income. Um... I want to admit something to you guys, but I don't know if you'll understand. So this is why I'm dressed more conservative today. <laughs> there are things I liked about being in a relationship with an Arabic man, I realize now. Um, I think I, I really like, I find traditionally Arabic men are more, take care of a woman, like regardless of your, you know. For example, if I say, um, I think I'm gonna go for a, a little while, and he'll say, oh, do you wanna spend, you know, like spend a few more minutes with me, baby, or whatever um some people will see that as a red flag or see it as like needy you know what i mean in some yes in some instances if it's like very very insistent and persists but you could also see it as like i like that like i find i find like what i've encountered with arabic males like the attitude is like the the male role of like taking care of the woman like because he'll be like you know anything i can provide you with anything you know like just say the word everything like a future money like you don't have to you know like they take care of their woman you know like they it's the traditional value is something it's like the con not con <laughs> the conservative um nature of it i kind of i'm kind of liking right now at this point in my life yes exactly you are my slave hey Sharmuta, don't forget to clean the bathrooms with your tongue okay slut you're gonna be under my shoes forever and ever. Um, the idea of having an actual husband to take care of me as a wife and like have that mutual bond of respect and built on va actual values other than just, you know, sex and, um, you know, you know, valuing you as a role as a person to contributing to the relationship as like a wife and, you know, I don't... Well, I feel like I'm talking to a real dog, a real slave, a pure dog. I'm gonna shit on you and rape you and spit on your face. He wants to buy me a ticket to come like in two weeks to like buy a ring. He, like, really... he wants to like just me to move in his house in like Kuwait. <laughs> he wants to get married, but he's like almost perfect in every way. He's like. You don't have to, when you get here, you don't have to worry about anything. You live here, you don't have to worry about driving, have a car, you don't have to worry about, like, the men in that culture take care of everything. And you know what? I fucking love that. I want to be taken care of, guys. You know, it's nice to be worshipped. He calls me goddess. Well, we chat, like, for hours all night. I've never had conversation like that with someone. Speaks very fluent English. Hey, Sharmuta. Don't forget to clean the bathrooms with your tongue, okay? Slut. Has a nice place. He looks like a, a younger Tony and he has the same red lights. <laughs> he, he plays keyboard very well. He's really nice. I only known this guy for like two days. <laughs> and he wants to fly me out like next week and get married. He has a two week vacation from work. And he he's like, I'll just pay for a ticket for you. You don't have to pay for anything when you're here. He's like, I'll order his food every day. I like that idea of not even having to drive anymore. He has a really nice car and a good job. Yeah. Together, they need each other. She needs someone to drive here, take her, go outside, 
do video for her and for him he need the money coming the income and i could live stream from there it would be so interesting but life would be so conservative and i find like a little bit arabic men are very like i like, like they're kind of controlling like i think he like he made a joke like when he saw my my legs like with my dress he's like i will kill you <laughs> like as a joke i was like oh <laughs> i'm not gonna let you do what you want why are you so stupid well, maybe is that such a bad thing? I mean, like maybe I don't need to be, be like being so irresponsible anymore. Anyways, that's the thing. Um, this man is very, very smart. Has a very good job. Makes good money. Has his own place. Has a good, nice car. Drives very well. Is very confident. I like the way he's very. Oh, and looks wise, he's perfect. He's an Adonis body. Like looks wise, he's a younger, more vibrant Tony. Like beautiful hair and beard black and beautiful teeth don't and, forget those gorgeous feet and looks at me and just like i can't wait till you're here baby and just his body and oh fuck. and the way he just makes me feel like i'll be safe with him but like he wants to fully take care of me as his wife like fully that kind of appealing it feels to me this is why i talk about things on my channel because i talk about things that are, make me a bit nervous and i know that i don't really have proper judgment all the time Muslim men can care marry four women. Oh yeah. And I can't have children, so yeah, he probably would have another wife. Would I be okay with that? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I don't have to move to I'm supposed to go to Kuwait <laughs> to get married. <sighs> uh, excuse me, and that's why I'm dressed conservative tonight, but I kinda like it. I think it looks better if I'm covered up. Do you think so? I don't know. It's more mature. You can wear like a hijab and... Because I would have to wear a hijab if I went there. Yeah, I would have to cover myself. I think people think of Kuwait as like, you know, Afghanistan like 10 years ago. There's like, you know, like... No, it's not like that at all. There's a lot of expat women who don't even wear hijab and who are on their own. Because there's like actual femicide down there. If you cheat or something. I don't know. I have to look up the laws. Like if you cheat, I think they can like do something to you. <laughs> I'm not a cheat. I would never. Uh, fuck that. I guess that's one way of ensuring people don't cheat. Fuck. I, I mean, there's no dick worth death penalty. I'm sorry. There's none. So I'm not going to cheat if you're going to kill me. <laughs> I know. No, I wouldn't anyway, but definitely not if you're going to kill me after. No. <laughs> He know he likes me. He doesn't mind my weight at all. Look at my eyes. So at least there's that. And he said we can order food and play video games. And I can live stream while he's at work. So, why not? Oh! <laughs> there he... Okay. Alright. <laughs> Welcome, Al Sultan Salah. Welcome. Hi. He's a new Beezer. He's our newest Beezer. I hope you guys will be very welcoming. Please be very welcoming and respectful would be super nice. Well, I feel like I'm talking to a real dog, a real slave, a pure dog. I'm gonna shit on you and rape you and spit on your face. A lot of my fans are very comical we like to joke around we like to make to joke but i really 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 need you guys to be respectful of certain things if you don't mind in my chat from now on we can still bees we are going to bees hardcore <laughs> everybody are nice over here <laughs> yes yes salah yes salah everybody is nice Forget talking about religions. It's just beliefs. We respect everybody as human, not for his religion. Yes, exactly, Salah. <laughs> yes, exactly. I'm not getting, so I'm not getting married right now. Um, I'm not going to, like, you know, I'm just going to, you know, keep a lot of my private life and definitely any relation, like, the relationship and stuff. We're going to try to be really private. Um, Fuck you. Fuck you. See this finger? Shove it up your fucking hairy ass. So it's very nerve wracking for me because obviously you guys know how impulsive I am and I change my mind a lot. But I want to say that I do feel actually really lucky and really happy. And I think like, I feel like I've found somebody who's, 
like I talked for like hours today about like everything that worries me, right, Salah? Tell them I talked to you about for hours today about everything that worries me, and he just makes me feel really like secure. Well, I feel like I'm talking to a real dog, a real slave, a pure dog. I'm gonna shit on you and rape you and spit on your face. And like hopeful and um, really all of the worries that I was talking about today on the ferry were pretty much just melted away. I had feelings like maybe it's not meant to be because nothing was ever working out. You know? Like, just a lot of things weren't working out. And so I'm like, is this a sign from God? Like, I'm not supposed to, you know? I don't know. I think maybe it's a sign from God that I'm not meant to be with the person. And sometimes we get signs like hurtful ones, you know? <clears throat> I didn't, I said earlier, I, I feel a bit like the thought of marriage and stuff a little scares me a bit right now. But that was all, that was all taken care of. That's, that's not even on the table anymore, guys. So we're taking things at a very comfortable pace and we're, things are very good right now. So it's, you know, move is happening. Everything is back. To the, everything is going to normal. No drastic life changes right now. Um, the only thing is we have a new Beezer and I'm super excited. <laughs> Within one month, she's going to be fluently of talking Arabic. You Ella Shahmuta Hanzir. You're not a man. You're a miskeen. You're a boy. You're a boy. Disgusting dogs. Hanzir Shahmuta. Goodbye. <laughs> You think so, Salah? Beezer! Beezer Salah. Hi, marhaba. Welcome back to another video. So as you can see, this is a video. I think you've heard me say many times on my channel, guys, the following words. Changes happen so fast for me. Sometimes you meet the love of your life when you least expect it. Things happen for a reason. I will not be doing live streams anymore. I will be going to a recorded video format from now on. I think this will be better for me and I've had a lot of time to think about now, it. My plan is to have, as I'm a Canadian, have a homestead here and I will never forget about Pete's and my cats. No, I don't even have them anymore. I gave my cats away for you to move. So I'm planning on dealing with the move, getting all settled in and everything like that. And then possibly in the future, I'm not sure exactly when, one day you will see me in a video where I'm already in another country. But I am not planning on moving to another country, just taking up and packing up and, and leaving my whole life behind here and my whole existence here, forgetting about who I am as a person. That's completely not my goal. And going forward, I just feel super excited about life. And these changes have come really fast for me too. My head is spinning as well. And it's going to be what's good for me. I am here just looking at the leaves. I thought I would just stop and take a minute to talk to you about some things I have on my mind today. I will get to the real truth about how I'm feeling. I have been truthful about my feelings. So all of these decisions that you see me making in my life right now, all of these changes have been brewing for a while. I do share a lot of my life with people online and a lot of my my life has been not private for so long and I'm just at a point in my life now that I feel like I want my privacy back. I want some self-respect back. Cheated with a bees? Can you fucking imagine? Like, I don't think my life, like, oh no, it could get worse. I can't jinx it because it's on a roll. No, oh, I didn't let him poop and pee on me. What the fuck? Just I see some I just I guess honestly I see some of what people are saying and it's like I thought maybe you guys deserve to just 
have me answer some questions directly. I, Lambo, I hope, and Sofa King and Cheeseburgers, I hope you guys aren't too upset that I got rid of all moderators. <sighs> we love a sneaky bees. Yes, I am still with Sala, and um, there was a lot, a lot of stuff. Like, my life has just been really, 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 really overwhelming, and so many, like, there's so many things I haven't told you guys, and I, there's so many things I can't tell you guys. Um, I know, so I want to just say that. I know that a lot of people think that I'm doing this just for Sala, and I will admit part of it is um, because he's from a culture where it's, you know, that's normal. I hate you. I literally fucking hate, I hate you. I don't know you. How can I hate you? I don't even fucking know you. You're a lie. You're a cheater. I'm respectful of our privacy until you fuck me over and ruin my life. Then you can go fuck yourself. So I realized out of respect for that though, and looking what happened in the past, it's definitely necessary a hundred percent um to keep any relationships if they're going to be healthy offline start drama but did you see them exposing and those okay so anything to do with i will just say they're not that's not him he fucking cheated on me he admitted it today he was talking to in a sexual way with k bella fucking k bella um that's why i really like he he's gotten a lot of messages um from people and he never replies to any and you know we're trying i just want to do this the right way i'm going to tell you guys something and it's going to be really weird and you're not going to understand it and i don't know if i really understand it either i kind of am attracted to alpha male energy um <clears throat> and i don't know if that's because of what i've been through that i'm seeking something similar or to me i think it's mostly I don't know. Yes, exactly. You are my slave. Hey, Sharmuta. Don't forget to clean the bathrooms with your tongue, okay? Slut. You're gonna be under my shoes. Yes, exactly. You are my slave. Hey, Sharmuta. Don't forget to clean the bathrooms with your tongue, okay? Slut, you're gonna be under my shoes forever and ever. You know, I've definitely found somebody very, very loving, treats me like a super queen, not abusive. Um, but I like, I find that a lot of men, like Arabic men, are not all, but a lot are very, like, more dominant alpha male energy when it comes to relationships. And I kind of like the idea of a man. <laughs> I know you're gonna barf and gag. I kind of like the idea of a man taking care of a woman. You think I'm gonna, like, they think I'm gonna pay for uh, everything. A new car, but I'm broke. A new car, uh, a new, like, a whole life, uh, whatever. And, um, like, I'm not gonna get anything, like, at all. Like, I'm gonna give money, whatever, you know, like, whatever. I don't know. You know, like, I love that idea. I fell in love with the idea of, like, you know... Are you engaged? I can't say anything about that. Let me see the ring. It's in Kuwait. My husband, my husband fucking fell for it. I'm pawning my, uh, you know what? I'm fucking auctioning my fucking wedding ring. Uh, the, your mistake is you think you know me. Even it's insulting when people say say things like, oh, she's being scammed, she's being, like, okay. Like, again, the word ad nauseum, the term ad nauseum. Um, excuse me, yeah, like... <laughs> oh my god. How many videos do you have to put out that I'm being scammed when you know nothing? There's, like, no indication whatsoever of any scam. I've never been asked to give anyone any money. Like I keep saying, it's the complete opposite. When she comes, she give him money. Directly. First day, second day, after that, how many days, weeks, she gave him money again. Okay. Uh, gentle, yes, she gave money for him, sure. And even in the video now, if uh, I download it from the camera, you will see. Uh, 
شي ترانس شي دون هاو تو ترانسفير فروم هير اكونت تو هيز اكونت اي تيل انتر ذا اي بي ادريس لايك ذيس فروم ذا بانك 1 2 3 3 دايز ذا ماني كامينج ان هيز بانك فيري هابي ايزي صلاح يميت ذا كندا اند ذا دولارز كامينج فروم ذا يوتيوب ذاتس وات هي تيل مي اكزاكتلي of that like but i'm not going to explain myself to anybody like that they don't deserve it they're waiting for an explanation so they can pick it apart like vultures i'm super 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 in love and i'm super super off the market and i'm super 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 in love he drove to like a really nice kuwait a restaurant in kuwait and ordered food and then went back to his apartment and then we kind of just video chat for hours and hours and hours we watch movies um laugh at movies together we watch dumb and dumber and we're laughing we like knew all the words we just have a lot in common that way and i woke up to a huge poem he wrote me like i love you more than pizza <laughs> i'm sorry no but I, he's so lovely <laughs> i hate you i literally fucking hate i hate you i don't know you how can i hate you i don't even fucking know you you're a lie you're a cheater <laughs> but i want every woman out there to know that if you are so desperate that you have to enter the dms of somebody that i'm involved with or try to i need you to know that any reply you get from anyone calling themselves sala like they even have the nerve to pretend to be that worthy to even enter his dms any reply you get It's fake because this man spends hours on video call with me every day. Shows me screenshots of every single person trying to follow him. Has all comments turned off. Is not accepting new friend requests anywhere. And his dating app that you're so hanging on to as proof that this man doesn't love me. <laughs> Please, you're so gullible. Just like you all accuse me of being. Not Chantal calling me a whore when her husband was trying to convince me to go take out a loan so I can go and be with him for the next two weeks while she was in Canada. But okay, I'm the whore for your husband's actions. I mean, if it wasn't me, it was going to be somebody else, Chantal. Your husband isn't faithful. Your marriage is fake. You're impulsive. You married somebody you didn't even know. Come on, when are you gonna, when are you gonna learn? I'm sorry, or should I say, I apologize if I sound bitter. Yeah, I'm a little bitter. I'm trying to do better for my life and I have people everywhere trying to pull me back down into the stinky bog with them. You can stay there, I'm moving on up. I'm getting married. I'm going to live an amazing life. fucking cheated on me he admitted it today he was talking to in a sexual way with k bella fucking no oh, i didn't let him poop and pee on me what the fuck this move is happening i'm glowing up in life behind the scenes and from now on i'm only allowing you whatever privacy i want to give you and honestly the way things are going to be going with my channel probably not much My privacy is something I have not valued my entire life. Do I regret that? I see people, desperate reaction channels and desperate women trying to break this up, but it's not going to happen. Why would Sala, and listen carefully, ladies, why would Sala go for you girls when he has a Canadian queen like me? I mean, if it wasn't me, it was going to be somebody else, Chantal. Your husband isn't faithful. Your marriage is fake. You're impulsive. You married somebody you didn't even know. Come on. When are you going to when are you going to learn? Really? I just never fall.